Shalom, Shalom. This is a brother Amor coming back with a, another lesson through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I'm going to say Kaha Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rikach As always, double honors goes out to the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who will well and teach well. And peace and blessings to the elect, 144,000. Chosen through the Spirit from the beginning to you know, to do this work to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and to rule the future kingdom, man. You know, to judge, man. you know. And I want to do something regarding you know the heathen, these heathens, man, of our people, man. You know. This time of the year, when it's you know the, the sun starts coming out, you start to see what people are you know people start to be acting up, act, acting funny, man. When the sun comes out, especially our people, man, they become more niggerish. You know, they become more sottish, man, more foolish, right? And it's, and it, you're gonna and it, you just you know you keep your eye out and you just see how many of uh, it shows you how many of them are gonna be destroyed when the time comes, man. You know the things I've seen already since they started warming up over here, especially from these young ones, man. Yeah, these these youngsters, these young Jakes out here, and the females of them sometimes seems to be seem to be the worst. They are the actually they are actually the worst, man. They're worse than the, than, than, than the male ones out here. And they, they have no understanding about what's about to go down. And why? Because they don't understand what, who they are. And they don't understand the power that is over them, man. The power that is, is ruling them. Or, and it is going to rule them as well. In, you know, when they actually come to the knowledge in the, you know, when they come back in the kingdom, man. You know, that's why so many of our people are, are going to be destroyed and so few are going to be um, uh, saved, man. When the hour shot comes back, the majority of our people are done, cooked. And they're done also as, uh, men uh, mentally and spiritually, man. Let's just read anyway, man. So Isaiah 4 and... Um, one, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. And our people have this weird... Well, it's not weird, because it's, it's obviously it's the curses, but they don't seem to see that when it when it comes to adultery, man, they're number one upon the chart, man. Now they're number one for that. No one sings and commits. No one raps about it or sings about it or commits it better than Jake, man. It's like they wake up in the morning wondering who can they commit adultery with today. It's like it's their number one thing. Think of how many songs you know R and B singers singing about that. It just can't be helped, man. With up with our people, man. You know, the killing, the stealing, all of that. And not, and that's not to say other nations aren't doing those sorts of things, man. But really and truly, it's a disease in our people, man. It says, therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that uh, dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea. The fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Let's jump to six. It says, uh, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me, therefore will I change the, their glory into shame. They're, they're shameful, man. I mean, I was on the bus on the way home from work, man. And it was one of the worst journeys I've had. I hated it. Man. Every time I was on the... Everywhere I went, it was these little... Wicked little... 
Israelites just up to no good, man. Loud and rambunctious and, you know, there's one, one school girl was twerking on the bus, man. Right next to me, man. And it's like, you really want to start getting involved and, and start telling people about themselves. But you know, in this truth, you learn to just hold your peace. Because you have to, man. It, what, what is it gonna? What am I gonna gain with arguing with school children on the bus? Hmm? There's nothing to gain, man. You have to let this thing play out. All these, all these, these, these—they're all gonna be destroyed, man. They're just fit for vessels, fit for destruction. That's it. That is it, man. It says they set, they eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on on their iniquity. Yeah, they, these youngsters, man, and I, and look, they're like this because they don't have role models, man. They don't have proper teachers, you know. That's what we're here for. But look, the majority of our people won't hearken unto this, man. You know. Um, let's get something real quick. Man. Yeah. So Jer Jer Jeremiah 5 and 1 says, Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. That's that, that you know, the most high's words, man. He's, he's basically saying, Look, you can go and try and do that, but you really ain't going to come back for any, anything because you ain't really going to find that out there, man. Because basically, my people, he's saying, my people, they're not out, they're not, that's not their level, that's not their line of, of thought, that's not their train of thought, that's not what they, that's not what they care about, they care about this world too much, and the wickedness that they can do in it, man, they want to do what they want, they see all the other nations doing what they want, and they think that's for them, and it's not for them, man, all right, that's not for us, we have ways, man, all right, we have laws, statutes, and commandments, we have a way to live, that's been commanded to us, And I'm not saying the law, the law, the law, the law, because ultimately it's faith that's going to get you into the kingdom. And besides that, it's being chosen. You know? Um, and, though they say, and though they say the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them. But they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. They, you know, we are at the bottom. And the worst things happen to us, right? We live in the poorest of areas, right? And all the heathens around us are in control of everything, you know? Every, the whole world hates us yet. The Lord has done all this to us, and they don't want to. And now, and now, what's getting worse is, look, you have some, you have a lot of guys out there that know they're Israelites, but they're not doing anything about it. So to hell with them, man. But then on the flip side of that, you got a lot of our people now that don't even believe in our power anymore, man. They don't even believe that our power exists. Their favorite line, one of their favorite lines now is, "No one's coming to save us." Well, no, you're right. No one is coming to save you, heathens of our of our nation. Yahweh Shai Hamashak is coming to save his people, right? His sheep. He's the good shepherd, man, and he's come to save his sheep, man. His followers, those that are trying to walk in his ways. To the best that they can, because we could never walk like Howard Shiner. Not not on this side of things.
It says, but they have refused to receive correction. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish. That word again, that fool, they're foolish men. For they know not the way of the Lord Yahweh, nor the judgment of their power. I will get me unto, I will get me unto the great men, and will speak unto them. For they have known the way of the Lord, and the judgment of their power. But these have altogether broken the yoke and burst the bonds. But the great men are the men teaching them. Because the same men that are here today tr trying their best to teach this word of truth and its sincerity, right? The whole truth. Are them same men that back in the day, man, that were given that job, that given that duty to do it back then? They're back again. The spirits don't change like that. Um, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot coming for. You know, what do you think Jacob's troubles about, man? Jacob's troubles for you wicked Jakes, man. What am I looking for? something else Let me just find a good place to begin this from. Right. So Job 36 and 5 says, Behold, Yahweh is mighty and despiseth not any. He is mighty in strength and wisdom. He preserveth not the life of the wicked, but giveth right to the poor. He withdraweth not his eyes from the righteous, but with kings are they on the throne. Yea, he doth establish them forever and they are exalted right so let's go back a bit it says he preserveth not the life of the wicked but he giveth right to the poor and that wicked is is, is our people man we, we always talk about the wicked and it's synonymous with Esau but the, we have wicked of our own people man all right who refuse to um to come back to this um to this word, man? Because they're so involved in this place, which is going to pass away, man. You know. John, uh, 1 John 2 and 15 says Love not the world Neither the things that are in the, that are in the world If any man love the world The love of the Father is not in him Right They want to listen to their shitty Rap music that's, that, that is absolutely pathetic these days You know I, I feel sorry for them man At least you know We, could, we, you know, we, we talk about some of them. We know that These artists are wicked anyway But at least when we was coming up The music was decent now they're just all talking about sex and drugs, man. And 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 these female rappers are just disgusting. Man. 
And they're involved, they're so enamoured with this world, man. It's like, they, they, imagine they, they want to be living like this forever, man. They, they don't, they can't see how destructive it is. Imagine if we kept going on like this, the way we're going, to the way the things are right now. It's, 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 it's unthinkable, man. It says, for all that is in the world, verse 16, First uh, John 2 and 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, yeah, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the of Yehovah Shemi and Shah abideth forever. Yeah, man. Um, you know, little do they know. Little do they know what's coming, man. Zechariah 13 8 says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh Shemi Shai, two parts therein shall be cut up and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that's mainly talking really represents the destruction of our people in Babylon because as we know, you know, the majority of salvation is coming out of there. And the, and the majority of the destruction of our people is going to be there. Right? So that's two thirds, man. Shall be cut off. I mean, what means cut off from get, being able to be saved, man? Cut off from salvation and die. They're going to die. The only way they're seeing the kingdom is through generational childbirth, man. We don't know when they're going to come back. They're not just going to come back straight away in the kingdom just like that, man. Verse 9 says, and I will bring the third part through the fire. And we, we're trying to be that third part, man. Now, we should be disgusted with what we see of our people, man. Sometimes I absolutely I hate them. You know, look, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I pity our people, man. When you really think about it. But on the, on the, on the flip side, I hate them, man. Or I hate the way they are. Let's put it like that. I hate the way they are, man. Then I'll bring the third part through the fire. And I'll refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call them my name. And I will hear them. I will say it is my people. And they shall say the Lord Yehovah Shami Shai is my power. But it, you know, there's not many of us doing this man. Doing that. You know? You know two thirds man. You gotta think about that. That's six D six point six. Six six six. That's the mark, man. They're marked. They're marked with the mark. <laughs> Imagine that. Them saying they're the same cats that are gonna take the take take that as well. They're gonna take that mark. They're the ones that are marked with the mark that are gonna take the mark. Imagine that. Anyway. Look, man, that's a quick one, yeah? You know, look at their finish, man. People are finished, man. Not long now, before the missiles, you know, everything's going to start kicking with the prophecies. Should have said the missiles first, but, you know, I mean, uh, all the prophecies are going to start popping off soon, man. The famine of the word, the Jacob's trouble, the MOTB coming out. You know, we can't wait, man. Every year we're saying the same things, man. And rightfully so, because this is what our job is. But we want we want to stop saying it. We want to stop saying it because we want it to be at the end. There's nothing wrong with that. That we want to do the will of the Father, man. But we also want to stop doing it because meaning stop us not doing it anymore means that we've reached that point. All right. Anyway, I sit on that. Lord willing, it's a fine. Shalom to the next one, man. Shalom.